What's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to do a quick mail day. By the way, it's freaking freezing here. Wind's blowing like crazy, snowing. I took the Christmas tree down. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, the weather had been so nice all the way out. Throughout Christmas, everything, I was just leaving the tree up because, I don't know, I, was just, I commented to Ryan's comment in one of my videos. I was like, it hasn't even felt like we've been through Christmas yet. I mean, besides all the... Christmas events and presents and stuff like that, but uh, the weather's just been great. As soon as I take the tree down, weather turns to shit. Go figure. But uh, got a package in from James Fight on Fifty Two. Um, he had talked to me on blog one night, uh, asked for my address, said he had something to send my way. Uh, didn't send him in my address yet, not because I thought he was going to come molest me or something, but <laughs> just because. Uh, I had told him, I was just like, dude, I've gotten enough stuff I owe a lot of people right now. He's like, oh, don't worry about it. Just send it to me. Well, then I commented on one of his videos, and he asked for it again. And thank you, James. Uh, these are very cool. Number to 36. There's two of them number to 36, two different variations. Don't have any of these. Jonathan Baldwin from Topps Triple Threads, and then this one number to 27 so thank you very much for those uh, sure you guys all know James I'll put a I'm not gonna put his link down below I'm gonna put the link to one of his recent videos which is actually a, a sub contest submission for Asex Deuce 90 Tom and the first two minutes if you don't watch the whole thing I still get on there and watch like the first two minutes had me dying laughing uh, just funny stuff and then he went on to uh i watched the whole thing he uh one of the things for the contest was uh, tell about your biggest pull and i won't ruin the beginning of the video but there's ended up being a nice story about a stan mutual card that he had pulled and uh then the other thing for the contest was uh your sports uh mount rushmore and he started off saying it would just be bo jackson laying naked across the couch, just one person, all Bo, and uh, that seems pretty fitting because he's went way beyond man crush, and uh, Bo, if you're watching this, restraining order, just saying, uh, amazing collection, absolutely stunning, but that'll be down below, thanks again, James, The uh, got one more thing in, it came in today, it's a booklet, and this thing is better than any nudie magazine day. I can tell you that. Uh, except for Chicks Over 80. That's a good magazine, just saying. But here it is. Numbered five out of five from Topps Five Star. McCluster, eh. Now that is why I got it. Absolutely disgusting. Patch on the berry there. Unbelievable shape. Uh, I never really expect the book, you know, booklets to come in good shape. Usually you'll, there'll be some damage, it just happens, but this one is in great shape, so I was even more thrilled. Uh, <clears throat> the eBay seller, I'd had some recent issues with some sellers, and this guy, he had that card at a, what I thought was a pretty ridiculous buy it now or best offer, and I had messaged him, and, uh, you know, just kind of, just straightforward told him I collect Barry and uh, a lot of them. And I was like, I hope you don't, you know, try to hold the, you know, jack to keep the price up on me because of that. I won't pay it. But this is, and I listed some other, the bigger Barry cards that I've picked up and what I got them for. And I was just like, if we can come to a reasonable deal, I'll, uh, I'll send now. And I actually left. That was last weekend went over to a friend's party and on the way he had already messaged me back saying uh, he would take what I wanted to pay for it so I got back later that night shot him the PayPal smooth transaction uh, you just don't find that much uh, so I was pumped to deal with a great seller like that also I've got all the mystery packs up here I took off the the bridge, uh, turn that, they'll all be behind me, they're numbered, I mixed 
uh, took everything out of the envelopes that I had, mixed them all up so things weren't in the same packs, renumbered them. I've got them stacked up, you know, one through nine, ten through nineteen. So I'll be able to just go there, pull out the people's numbers that I need to bust. And when I do the random, I'm going to go on at like seven thirty. Once we get some people in there, I'll do the random and record that. I'm just going to random the names if that's fine with everyone, and then have a notebook with the numbers 1 through 35, and I'll random the names however many times you guys want, but then I'll just write everyone's name in that notebook, and then from there, I can uh, just keep tabs and add notes and stuff like that on everything I need to get together uh, with uh, like the other four cards that I'm randoming to the room that I got out of that Crown Royal box. Uh, you know, I'll be able to write those down on that notebook next to the people who got them and I need to add them to their packages. It'll just make things easier for me and it's still random. I don't see a point in randoming and then randoming again and then randoming the random and then randoming that. Uh, if that's fine with everybody, that's the way we're going to do it. And we'll probably start actually busting the packs around to eight, maybe a little bit before. Uh, if there's enough people in there and some people need to go, I want everyone to have a chance to see it busted live. If uh, if that's what they want, you know. So if somebody's got to run and they ask to have their packs busted, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll hang out for a while tonight too, because I know a couple people said they wouldn't be able to make it till later. So I'll hang out, see if they can end up stopping by, and then I'll wait to bust their packs live. It'll all be recorded and then I'll do a you record it on blog and then I'll do a if I can't figure out how in the heck you transfer those videos to YouTube. I don't have two cameras and uh, I'll just do a recap for YouTube. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, thanks for watching. See you tonight. Peace.